Hello and welcome to Build on Ideas in Student. This is Six and Sunny. So this is the sixth part of this video, Blender Beginners tutorial series. And today we are going to look at how to use the uh, different tools in uh, in the edit mode. So if you go to the Blender, you can see that uh, if you go to the edit mode, uh, you can see that there are, there are five tools out here using the extrude, the insert, the bevel, the loop cut and the knife. So all these five tools will be explained in this video in detail. So when you come to the extrude, you can see that there is an extrude region, extrude along normals, extrude individual and extrude to cursor. So how do we go about this? So in order to do the extrude, you just have to go to the face, I'm just doing a face uh, extrude. So click here, you can see a plus symbol, just click on this and then click and drag. You have a dialog box coming out here, you can give whatever dimensions you want in this area. So I'm just giving, uh, say, um, 50 centimeters. So you have a 50 centimeter extension out here. So that's how it is done. There's another method of extrusion. If you just click on the edit mode, I'm just going into the select box. Click here, uh, click a face and then click on E to extrude. So click on E, you have the dimension, uh, you have it here. You can give whatever dimension you want. I'm giving 100 centimeters. If you want to do an extrude again, just click on E. E, E and then give the dimension whatever you want. So if you just want maybe a, I would say a 500 centimeters, so that how it, that's how it is done. Click here, just click on E. So this is how we do the basic extrude. Now I'm just going to give a border for this. So I'm just selecting this area, this area and this area. And if you want to do an extrude here, I'm just having an extrude here. Now uh, I'm just going to give give uh, a kind of uh, border out here. So in order to do that, I'm just clicking on this face, click on Alt and then towards this edge, I'm just uh, left clicking with the mouse. So you have all the edges being selected out here. Now, I'm just going to do one more extrude outside, but it is not possible if you click on E. Neither it's possible if you just click on this and then do it like this, it's not possible. So. Now to do that, you have the second option, extrude along normals. Just click on that and if you start doing it, you have it here. Now click here and then you have to make sure that you have ticked this offset even and then just give whatever dimension you want. I'm just giving a 10 centimeter. It's going inside, so minus 10 centimeter. So we have the border ready right now. You can see it here. If you just did not do this offset even, you can see that there's a slight bent in the corners just click here you can you can see it properly so make sure that offset even has been ticked okay so that's how we do uh, the extrude along normals now i'll just explain how to use this extrude individual so what i'm going to do is like i'm just selecting these two faces and then select this extrude individual and then just click here and then drag now you can see that this has been extruded in this normal and this has been extruded in this normal. So it's going in different directions. But if I'm doing this extrude using this, it goes in the same direction. You have a different result in that. So in order to do the extrude in different individual faces, that is one is here, and one is here. And then if you are doing extrude individual, you can see that it is happening in, in the normals individually. So that's how it is. Now I'll just show you one more extrude option. Just select this and then go into the extrude to cursor. If you just click on extrude to cursor and then if you start clicking the cursor anywhere you want, the extrude extrusion happens in that direction. You can see that it is happening. It's just happening like that. I'll show you how we can use this. I'll just add a cube out here and I'll start using the extrude along cursor, extrude to cursor object. Um, I'll just select this face and then start using this extrude to cursor. So what I'll do is like I'll just create a small tree branch. Just start clicking like this. You can see that I'm creating a kind of a branch and then I'm just selecting and what I do is like I'll just select this face and then again start doing this extrude along face you can see it's happening so it's possible to create trees i'll just go into detail in, in coming videos 
So that's uh, what has been used uh, using the extrude to cursor. By using extrude to cursor, you can create such kind of shapes very easily. I'm just deleting this. I'm just adding another cube here. So now I'll show you how to use the insert. So coming to the edit mode, just select a face. If we click on I, that is a shortcut for insert. This is the insert tool. I'm clicking on this and selecting this face. You can see a yellow mark here. Just click here and drag. You can see that insert is happening. You can give the dimension you want. I'm just giving a 15 centimeter. You can see that it is happening. If you want multiple inserts, just select two faces and then do an insert. You can see that it is happening like this. If you click tick this individual, it happens individually. That's how the insert take place. And if you give the dimension here, maybe a 20 centimeters, you can see that it is 20 centimeters right now. So that's how the insert tool has been used. Now coming to, uh, I'll just delete this. I'll just add a cube once again. Go to the edit mode. Now what does bevel? So beveling is a very good tool and uh, you can see that if I just select this edge, one of the edges out here and then do drag, click and drag, you can see that uh, there is a kind of beveling happening out here. You can increase the segment. If you increase the segment, it just gives you a, a kind of curved, curved shape. You can change the profile like this. You can see that the profile has been changing. And in Blender 2.8, there's one more option that is a custom profile. So if you give a custom, there are some default custom profiles which has been available. If you just click give the, the profile like this and increase the segment, it gives a smooth result and very good results. If you want to customize it, you just click on drag these points out here. It gives a very good result out here as well. If you click here, it just gives the, uh, the toggle effect of this profile. So that's how we use the profiling. So click here, click and drag, and then just give the dimension, uh, the, the segments out here. If you click on the custom profile, and if you just give another profile out here, start modeling with this, it just gives you the profile out here. So this is how we use the prevailing. Now I'll just delete this. I'll just add another uh, cube out here. I'll show you how to use this loop cut. So what has been, uh, what is this loop cut for? In order to create some segments uh, for this particular box cube, what you do is like click on this tool and then click here. You have this cut. We can do how many our cuts we want. Uh, just keep on cutting like this. So in order to do that, the shortcut is Control R. If you are in the select mode and then click on Control R, you just have this tool active right now. And then if you click on uh, the scrolling button, if you just start scrolling the mouse, you can see that the number of segments goes up. Click here and then if you want, uh, the dialog box comes here. After that, you can increase the segments out here, decrease the number of segments out here. Again, click on Control R and then click. And then if you want, the, uh, the position to be changed, just drag the mouse or keep, give an escape and then give the number of segments. Additionally, you get the loop cuts. So that's how the loop cut has been done. I'll just delete this phase, uh, this box once again. I'll add another cube. I'll just show you how to use the knife tool as well. So this is the knife tool. What I do is like, I'll just start cutting this box the way I like. So once you go outside and then you can see that the cut is here. You can do the same thing by using the shortcut clicking on K that is the shortcut for the knife. Click and then start cutting. Just like that and then click on enter it gets cut. Now you can see one thing when I did this cutting you can see that it has not been cut across across this, uh, this cube. So in order to use this knife to give a cross cut across, the, across this uh, cube what to do is like uh, Click on the edit mode, go to the edit mode, click on K, now you are in the knife mode. Now click on Z and A, set and A and then start cutting. Now there is a big difference in this cutting. Click on enter, you can see that I have cut across the cube. So in order to do this, the shortcut is K, set and A. 
So K, K for knife and then set A for cutting across this this particular cube. So now if you want to delete this face, just go into uh, the face mode and then what I'm doing is like just select these and then just delete it. Select, delete, delete faces. You can see that I've deleted this face, faces which I've cut through. So this is how the knife tool has been used. Hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, kindly give us a thumbs up and share it. Also, please do comment below your queries and uh, doubts if you have some. Also, please do subscribe to this channel and click on the notification link next to it so that you get our next video. Thank you.